and it can lower the risk of colorectal colorectal and it can help reduce the risk of colo colo what the f hi guys my name is karina And today, I'm going to be talking about the benefits of Indian frankincense, or it's also known as Boswellia. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So Boswellia, or Indian frankincense, whichever you want to call it, is an herb. And it is so powerful for just any type of inflammation and gut issues, especially digestive issues that you may have. Honestly, I think it's like so underrated. It has helped me tremendously in my gut repairing process and it's a miracle worker. It gets its name Indian frankincense because it is native to India and also some parts in Pakistan. Also, it is used in Ayurvedic medicine because it is a Ayurvedic herb uh, because it is native to India and Ayurveda originated in India so the benefits include it's anti-inflammatory it helps with your gut health your gut lining your digestive system any type of digestive repair it helps with digestion and any type of digestive issues that you may have so that includes IBS IBD and what I mean by IBS is I mean irritable bowel syndrome which also falls into the same category as leaky gut or any type of symptoms that you may consider for both IBS and leaky gut as well as IBD so when I say IBD inflammatory bowel diseases so that includes the two main ones would be ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease it helps with osteoporosis and arthritis as well as any type of joint pain it can be used internally and externally it helps with the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis and of type 2 diabetes it may help prevent autoimmune diseases which is a big one and also when i say autoimmune disease that also directly correlates to the ibds so crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis are both autoimmune diseases as well as inflammatory bowel diseases. It speeds up wound healing. It can prevent cancer. It can help prevent headaches and it's really good for skin health. It reduces any type of inflammation in the body which goes back to anti-inflammatory and it also helps with muscle strength. It's good for overall boosting the immune system and strengthening your immune system which makes sense if you think about immunity and you think about autoimmune diseases those are essentially have to do with the immune system and the immune function it's said to have the ability to reduce anxiety stress especially chronic stress so both acute and chronic stress and it's directly correlated to help reduce inflammation in the gut which is so huge especially since nowadays it's not unheard of to hear people saying that they have gut issues because a lot of people have it and it's a very common thing which is just really unfortunate but you're put on all of these prescriptions and medications just completely mess up the balance in your body and then cause other issues so this is an herb it's safe there's no other side effects unless if you like abuse it um so this is so so beneficial and it's i think incredible because you're able to heal your gut in a natural way without having to take prescription medication and inflammation in the gut is linked to and causes all sorts of digestive issues and diseases which again ibs ibd constipation diarrhea cramping uh bloating gas upset stomach may be linked to it as well etc etc and it can help reduce the risks of colorectal cancer and gastric ulcers colon cancer can be linked to IBD. So you, if you have an IBD, 
um, you are at a higher risk of getting colon cancer or cancer within the bowel. And frankincense oil is actually really beneficial as well. So if you're into like essential oils, it's one of the top rated essential oils and it's also known to help calm down your stress levels and help rebalance the body um, as far as hormones go and that essentially can improve your mood your stress levels help with metabolism and it may help with the severity of menstrual cramps for women now what is absolutely crazy and just mind-blowing in my opinion is boswellia and turmeric both have curcumin in there which of course if you are familiar with turmeric you know that curcum <laughs> which if you're familiar with turmeric you know the active ingredient that is anti-inflammatory in turmeric is curcumin so both boswellia and turmeric have curcumin in it which is just ridiculously crazy in my opinion. I That's why I say I think Boswellia is just so underrated because people are, which don't get me wrong, turmeric is absolutely amazing within itself, but Boswellia, you guys, get on that Boswellia! And of course, both have very similar properties because they have the curcumin in there. So both turmeric and Boswellia or Indian frankincense are very similar due to the fact of that active ingredient curcumin and last but not least it helps produce pain and it helps with asthma i mean honestly why would you not want to take this um well one of the reasons is if you don't have any of these issues please do not take it um but if you do have any type of these issues that I discuss, then I feel like it might be beneficial and you might want to look into it. As always, talk to your healthcare provider or consult with your healthcare practitioner um, and do your own research. So I take the capsulated version of Boswellia from Pure Encapsulations and this contains no gluten, it's non-GMO, and it's hypoallergenic. It's a dietary supplement, and on the bottle it says support for gastrointestinal and cellular health, as well as musculoskeletal. <laughs> musculoskeletal. Musculoskeletal. I cannot say that word. Musculoskeletal. Musco. Musculo. Musculo. Skeletal. Musculoskeletal. Why does that sound weird? Anyways, that word. Okay. This has 120 capsules in there. Um, they're pretty big pills. Um, I think that they're like about four size, but you get used to it after a while. They're completely vegan. They say on the bottle that they're vegetarian, but they are vegan because the capsule itself is just cellulose and water and it has some rice starch in there so basically there's no animal products in here and yeah i've been taking this every single day with food it's super important that you take it with food and i've been taking it with my lunch on the bottle it says take one capsule three times a day with meals Hell no, I ain't taking it three times a day. Um, I took it once a day, and I, I guess it just depends on you and how many capsules you want to take. Um, my symptoms were actually pretty severe, but I honestly didn't want to take it three times a day. I just spanned it out. So do whatever works for you. I never follow directions. I always do what I want to do on my own terms. So that's what the bottle says do whatever you want to do i personally took it once a day and i found it super beneficial um i mean i've noticed a significant difference from my symptoms um before i started taking it and then up until now and i actually just finished this bottle so i will definitely be repurchasing this um I, d I like this brand. I've never tried any other brand before, but I definitely like this brand. And I did a lot of research on what brands to take and what brands to not take and what, like, 
worked for me so this is what i found if you guys find something else then by all means use it i'm not telling you to use the specific one but this one in my opinion is a good brand and i love the brand pure encapsulations i've talked about them before i take several of their dietary supplements. And as far as essential oils go, I am a huge advocate for essential oils. I think that they absolutely work because of our olfactory sensory um, systems. Like it instantaneously just goes straight in and it's our senses, it's one of our senses. So it has a huge impact on our health. Um, so if you don't wanna take the capsulated, pill like take it internally you can definitely um take it externally um through essential oil or through um other means like getting boswellia and drinking a tea or whatever the case may be um by all means the ways you can supplement are endless so that is my little spiel on boswellia if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up comment below share subscribe turn post notifications on follow me on social media and other than that i hope you guys have a fantastic day health and peace